Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. In my hand is the Switch Lite 8 PoE. And don't worry, this is not going to be an unboxing video. Inside this box is just a Switch, power brick and wall mount. I bought this Switch to replace my current uh, uh, Switch 860 Watt, a very popular Switch, but it can only do regular PoE. Whereas this Switch can do PoE Plus. And this is exactly the topic I wanted to wrap this video around. I've seen tons of questions about uh, uh, this and that access point, what kind of PoE power it needs, and I have this and that uh, switch, will it be able to power it? There are a lot of types of PoE. So I am going to show you my process of replacing my current switch because it's not like just adding a new switch. We do have to copy some settings around. But then I'm going to jump over to a great resources Ubiquity has put out there. It's just like sort of a matrix. You will be able to see which device or access point type of PoE it needs to power itself. And then you will be able to see which switch supports this kind or this type of PoE power. So I'm going to unplug this device, connect it to power, connect it to a, a, a network, so that when we jump over to the computer, it will already be pending adoption. So let's start this video. All right, guys, so we are at the computer, and as you can see, the new switch, the Switch Lite PoE is already pending adoption. And this is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to adopt it. I don't know at this point if it will require a firmware upgrade, but if it will, I'm going to allow it to upgrade. All right, guys, so it took about two minutes. It did need a firmware upgrade and it already done it. And so now we are ready to prepare the switch to take, a, to take the place of an existing switch. Meaning we need to already create uh, all the ports to their correct VLANs or port profiles. So let's dive into the, in the current switch. Let's go to the ports tab right here and to the port management. And so I have on this, on this switch my Xbox and uh, the port profile is IoT. I have my access point, I have my TV, and I have my uplink to the switch in the uh, com box. So that's what I, I'm going to prepare on the new switch. I'm going to create a port for the uplink, and then I'm going to uh, assign a port to the access point and to the TV and Xbox. All right, let's jump over to our new switch. By the way, I'm going to leave the switch currently with its DHCP assigned address and only after I remove the current switch, I'm going to give the new switch a static IP address. All right, so let's go to the ports tab and let's start creating our ports. Unlike the switch 860 watts where the last four ports are PoE, in the new switch light 8, the first four ports are PoE or PoE Plus. So port number one, I always uh, name my uh, ports. So just by looking at their names, I know what port profile they will be. I'm going to uh, call it Combox and the switch and the port profile, sorry, is indeed all. That's what I need. And I do need it to be PoE, PoE Plus. It's auto sensing. So it will be, uh, it will be adjusting itself. Next port, I'm going to name it U6 Pro. This will be what's connected to this port. And I do need it to assign PoE power to the uh, access point. And then I'm going to assign port 7 to my Xbox. And I'm going to assign it to the IoT network. And I'm going to take port 6 and I'm going to assign it to my TV. And again, it will be on the IoT network and apply changes. So assuming I have prepared the correct ports and I need to remember the, num the port numbers to connect the, uh, the, the cables to, I can now just take out the switch 860 watt and connect the, uh, the new Switch Lite 8. In fact, this is, this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pause the recording 
right now I'm going to remove the old switch connect the new switch instead of it and let's hope everything else stays online all right so the old switch has been completely disconnected the new switch has been connected instead of it all the cables are connected now to the new switch so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove or forget this old switch click on forget and on the new switch what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it and I'm going to assign it a static IP address that used to be assigned to the old switch alright so all the network settings are in place let's go ahead and apply the changes alright great looks like all the settings have taken place and by the way the very fact that the U6 Pro is online means that it, it successfully received PoE Plus power from the switch this brings me to the second goal or the let's say the main goal of this video is this PoE matrix from Ubiquiti by the way I'm going to give the link to this knowledge base article in the description of this video and if you scroll down you will see a list of switches and the PoE method that they support so if I'll take my example in this case I'm going to search for the switch light here it is here's my switch and, I'm, and I can see that this switch has a check check mark on PoE plus so I know for a fact that my switch supports PoE plus whereas the uh, switch that I replaced the uh, switch 860 watts only support PoE great now that I know that my switch supports PoE plus I can now scroll further down and search for the type of access point that I that I have or that I'm interested in buying the U6 Pro is not in this list just because it's the same as the U6 LR so I'm going to take for example the U6 LR and I can see that if I scroll upwards where the checkbox is on the U6 LR I can see that the U6 LR requires PoE plus in order to get power over Ethernet so I know now that I compared the matrixes I know that my switch supports PoE plus and my access point requires PoE plus and so this is how I know that my devices whether I already have them or I'm interested in buying them will support each other or will be compatible with, with each other in terms of PoE so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button otherwise join our Unify Facebook group again the link will be in the description of the video below and I hope to see you all on the next video bye everybody thanks for watching